Hey guys, what's up? This is Edgemeister, and today we're here with a Forge video. Now, this is going to be a little bit different. Um, you're seeing some gameplay right now, but 343 Industries released this image right here, and uh, all it was was in their latest forum post, they said that the Forge team sent them this image to put into the forum post with no comments. So that means everything we see here is 100% up to us to figure out what's going on here. So I instantly see four brand new things. So I'm going to talk about the biggest thing first, and then the smaller things later. So the first big thing we see here is this brick wall. Now this isn't in any uh, normal brick wall, this is more of a kind of like a, a mine maybe like old European castle type wall-ish thing. Um, I think this could be used to remake some areas from Halo 2's campaign because that's kind of somewhat what the Warner architecture kind of looked like in uh, Installation 05. And there's something I want to quickly point out about this. This may not be final, but if you look at the very corners, you can see that they're perfectly flat, meaning that there is no bump mapping. Now, if you don't know what bump mapping is, it's where it adds a little bit of depth onto the surface of something. So they make a, a bump map so that the brick walls, the bricks would stick out a little bit, you know, some things would go in a little bit. Not enough to actually make it feel like you're, you know, bumping up and down when you're walking on it, but enough so that when it looks, it looks like it's sticking out, shadows on it will react to it a little bit, and the shadows will act like there's individual bricks there, but it does not seem to be like that, sadly, so. I would think that if this is its own piece, it would probably have bump mapping, but now that it, I can see that it doesn't, which again, this may not be final uh, it may just be like a texture add-on maybe on the normal primitive blocks we're able to actually change the textures on them so that we don't get all these flat blank textures that don't they're just there to be solid which it, it's nice because it doesn't really collide with anything else they, they go together very well but a lot of forge maps including most of mine are pretty bland so it'd be really 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 cool to be able to add textures to them and a brick wall would be amazing I had this idea for a Mayan temple map and now I think that I'm ready to do it. The next big thing we see is that big plasma ball thing. Now, this, I'm guessing it's either going to be like just some sort of aesthetic piece or it could be like a covenant kill ball. I think I'm gearing more towards a aesthetic piece than a kill ball, but who knows? Who knows? 3 for 3 uh, has surprised us with forge things in the past. So, yes, hopefully um, it, it'd be really cool if when you moved it, it kind of let off like a little beam so that you could make those 400 things that just like shoot up the plasma things. I think they're like for communication. It'd be cool if you could use that and shoot that up and it'd have actually like a beam. Although it looks a little bit more covenant, I think it could be used for that. And um, I can't really see what else it could be used for. Uh, I guess you might be able to sync that into like a wall and have some of the effects come off. You might build something around the center and kind of make like a something that looks like a Tesla coil thing. Uh, I think that'd be really cool. So the next biggest thing that we see here is the dead body. So I think that Tom French actually hinted that they're going to add dead bodies into Forge on Twitter. I think somebody asked him uh, so that they could it'd be cooler for infection and well we got them. I think it's really really cool. Uh, I don't see myself using it too much uh, other, other than maybe infection maps but it might be cool to build like an abandoned temple or an, an abandoned warehouse. The only thing is I kind of wish that well they might still do it. It's the hope but uh, I, I hope that they have some without any clothes on. That sounds weird but just like you know so that you can build like a medieval castle with this new uh, brick wall and have like dead bodies in there or something. I don't know. We could have like an execution ground and have dead bodies there, but if they have futuristic clothes, it would kind of break the immersion. So hopefully we get more variations of the dead body. If not, I'm not going to complain because I mean, it, it is stuff that they're adding for us. They could have easily just not given us dead bodies. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy either way, but I'd just be more happy if they give us uh, a lot more options for dead bodies. Other than that, I don't know if they're going to make them solid or if you're gonna walk right through them. Either way, again, I don't really mind, but it'd be very disturbing if you could walk in them if somebody built a whole, like maybe 1v1 map, or I guess it'd have, it'd have to be really small, because they're a small piece, but like build, build like a one versus yourself map out of freaking dead bodies, that'd be kind of creepy. And next up, the last but not least, we have what looks like a new decal. It also could just be a new light. It kind of looks more like a new light gobo because we have light gobos that just add the UNSC logo or something on there. Uh, this kind of looks more geared toward that. Uh, if you can't see it, it's on the wall. It's a green infection symbol thing. We have uh, Arena, Warzone, Capture the Flag, Slayer, all that stuff are uh, gobos, so it only makes sense to to add an infection one. And if it is a gobo, 
uh, you'll be able to make it spin. But if it is actually a decal, which I'm geared, geared more towards the Gobo, but if it's actually a decal, that means we may or may not be getting colored decals, which I might like a little bit more. But I, I do think it looks more like a Gobo. Other than that, I'm kind of looking back around see if maybe there's a new skybox or anything. It just kind of looks like default. Um, I don't remember if it's on a Halo ring. If it isn't, then it is. you, you can change to it is. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's on a Halo ring, so I don't think that really changes. It's just the four features here. So yes, what do you guys think? Do you think that the wall is its own block or is it just a texture that you can put on to other blocks? Do you think that they're eventually going to add uh, bump mapping and hopefully they do? Uh, what do you think what that plasma thing is? Do you think that the dead bodies are solid? Do you think they're going to add more? And what do you think that infection thing is? A, lo a gobo or a decal? Again, I severely doubt it's a decal, so it's probably a gobo. And because you can make it spin. There's probably a spinning version, which I think would be a lot better. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you like these kinds of videos, I will continue to do them. If you don't, then I won't do them. Simple. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.